Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. And we went through the first part of the dungeon. And we are right at the end. And that is signified by these stairs. So when you go down, we will now be on a lower level of Mount Grimrock. And that much closer to safety, or so it would seem. We are now on level 2. Uh, I think it's called Old Tunnels. This room, uh, does it seem familiar? Well, it might not, but actually this is where I was fighting the uh, three snails. I fell down right about there and landed on that poor little guy's head and squashed him. So yeah, if you fall down a pit onto a lower level, you actually are in a different stage. I really, really liked that concept when I first seen it. It's like, hey, this is really cool. It's like, all of a sudden, I could be like on the next level. I don't know, I just really like that. Oh, uh, here's the spear in action. And it missed. Fail. Yes, your attacks can miss. Spells never miss. And that is another reason why magicians are just so good. I just have to deal with a little bit of their weakened health, though. That's no problem. Okay, who knows? It'll be right around the next bend. Uh, we got a rock. I hear something. Right behind that door. Oh. Hello. Oh, yikes. Uh, those guys are like little herders. They don't have as many hit points, but they're faster. And they throw freaking projectiles. Like poison balls. And yeah, you can get poisoned in this game. So, watch out. I don't know if those can poison you or not, but you can get poisoned. Uh, you're weak. I bet I can finish you off. Yep, there you go. Um, and we have gained a level. Two of us have. But I am not going to go to the level up stat screen just yet. I'm going to make sure I do it in a safe spot. Because you got to do it live. You can't just pause the game. So we're going to get rid of this guy. You want to try to avoid backing into dead ends like that when you got enemies because there's no way to dodge them then. That 18 was a critical? Oh boy, you gotta take care of that. At least he can't throw any projectiles at us. Beautiful. Okay, so click on that star that's flashing, and you got different things that you can use four skill points to increase. And we're going to go for swords, which is what our core strength is going to be for those weapons. And it says right there what you'll be getting if you reach a certain amount of points. So we increase the swords, we increase the armors, because defense is important. Just as important, if not more important, than offense. And we're just going to up one on athletics just to get stronger. Uh, yeah, and if you spend a lot of time gaining the absolute max level, you can become pretty potent in that field of, uh, whatever you increased. Magicians are different, you can increase different magic here, and, uh, spellcraft is different kinds of, like, things like faster spellcasting, which is pretty good to me, and even better than that is reduced magic cost. And, uh, spell defense is, like, I think it's like increased protection, evasion, dexterity, I don't know. I don't really do that or like athletics that much. So. Okay. What I just did there is I... I used the light spell which lights things up so I don't need to use the torch anymore. 
You're actually not supposed to know how to do the light spell yet. But I went ahead and just did it. Oh well. And uh, actually, that was a pretty good guess too because I haven't played this game in a while. Uh, but you need f to gain at least five points on spellcraft to be able to do it. And there's also a dark too, which is uh, the middle one and then the one on below it. And as for the fire and the shock, Icons, I guess you just kind of have to guess. I don't believe they ever tell you how to do them. So I guess they want to leave that to the player to explore and figure out. Because why not? You got enough to explore in this game. And yes, we just did pick up a machete. We're going to give the cudgel to Blatty. Now we have a little bit more powerful offensive weapons. And if you go to like Machete, it'll, I think it said swords. So you, if you really want to make sure a certain character has a certain kind of weapon, uh, that's how you do it. And uh, the Whitewood Wand, like um, whenever Roggy uses Fire Burst, it's going to be... It's a lot, it's going to do some more, da uh, a bit more fire damage, or more damage in general. That's what the wands do. They like make it more potent. How about some mold jerky? Mmm. That sounds a bit better than a slimy mushroom. Okay, yeah, but cooked right, mushrooms are a delicacy. Believe me, I know. Hmm, well isn't this interesting. Shelter left, cells right. What do you mean left? There's nothing uh, there but a dead end. But I have an idea. Something doesn't seem right. Let's try putting this on the wall and oh yeah, secret. Ooh. Oh wow, iron bassinet. Um, it gives you a lot more protection, but the evasion goes down like hell, because it is heavy armor, and we are not proficient in handling heavy armor yet. You need to get some more skill points for that. However, to me, protections, you get increased protection, and as long as you can avoid the enemies, the evasion's not that important. But yeah, I want to be proficient in the heavy armor as soon as possible but the most important thing is to increase the uh, weapons attack strength in my opinion or spell attack strength also you get you learn different spells too oh wow now he's gained a level green bloody has gained a level I, I don't know why I'm up in athletics. <laughs> oh, who cares? That's peculiar. It's an empty cell. That one's got stuff in it. We can take it right from where we're at because it's right next to the stinking door. Can't grab that though. Interesting. Must be a switch nearby. Ah, oh, I see it. Just a minute. I love that sound of uh, stones grinding. It reminds me of those doors that open in Goldeneye, but this sounds so be much better. Uh, that's a poison arrow. The arrows, those are for rogues. I think the rogues can only use those, but we don't. We're not using a rogue. Hell with that. The arrows aren't as strong as magical spells. And uh, we get introduced to another new enemy. I don't know what this is called. What is called Malware? He's fast, but he's not that dangerous.
die. He's worth 90 experience points, though. So, lay down those triggers and get down this next hall. Uh, guess I gotta leave it there. I hear snails. Ooh, I like what I saw there. No weapons allowed, huh? So, I guess we're gonna drop our weapon off. Let's try it. Hey, look, it worked! And now you all will fry and get shocked. Ooh, critical ten. That was quick. If you're fast, you can do like multiple hits really fast before the enemy can react. Ooh, ooh we're hungry. There we go. I gotta feed myself. Oh, it's time to feed the team. The bars are kind of low, so we're getting there. I fed myself anyway. Oh, there was a key in here. I actually had to go in here. Oh, oh, but look, there's a secret here. Secrets find unique stuff. Pointy shoes. What the heck do they do? Protection plus one, dexterity plus one. I'll take it. I look more like magician shoes to me. Oh, I want that. Well, looks like we gotta find some keys. We have the one. There's another one behind it, so we're gonna go this way. That's a kind of a tricky puzzle. Probably the first tricky one in the game. So we're gonna head off here first and uh, enter someone's grave apparently. Now that switch is probably gonna do something pretty radical. Is that it? It's your grave, huh? Well, I'll just take care of you. Ooh, something else is open. Oh my, we got another one. Oh no, what's this? A third armored knight? Yeah, they're gonna try to force you into getting cornered by these enemies, so you gotta take them out quick. Missing, Jesus Christ, I know he has that shield, but jeez. What that has anything to do with it? Hitting him on the side seems to work. No match with these powerful magical spells though. Yay, Rocky gained a level. It's a little dangerous there for a second, but we took it down the one armored knight. It's just staying put really quick when we go to hit it. Yes! And we have conquered thy grave. And let's see what goodies are waiting for us in here. Okay, a bone amulet. Um, that does like absolutely nothing. What the hell? But, it must be for something, so we're just gonna stick it up there into his, uh... Oh my god. This is what happens when you don't have a torch, people. Try to play the game like that. But there's always one nearby, it's not hard to find. But we're gonna make it easier on ourselves and just use the light spell. 
See, this is how you figure it out. You can, if you find uh, special scrolls. And that's how we use the entry ice shard move. We don't have ice magic, but we're gonna solve that problem right now. No kinds of uh, magic are essential, I do believe. Alright, finally. Alright, we're gonna get resist fire, and we're probably gonna want to know another spell. That spell is actually, I do believe, it, it enchants arrows with fire magic. So... So if you have a magician and a rogue, which is what your the game probably wants you to have, yeah, the magician will power up the rogues, fire arrows, and make them fire. I guess I don't know. They're probably not that strong though. I might be uh, underestimating the rogue's strength. I'm sure you can be really masterful with it, and there's some pretty cool moves like backstab, where you can do triple damage, but eh, it's just still not. The same as having two magicians with powerful magic spells. Okay, this is annoying. I actually have no idea how to do this. I've never really... I don't really know. I just push buttons. There are two buttons in this room and I just keep on pushing them until something appears right there by that dead end. And we want to get that... So, jeez. And we want to get that sack. We want the sack to appear. So just keep on checking. Keep hitting the buttons randomly. I, I honestly do not know how to do this. <laughs> I'll get him to appear too. It, 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 it like makes it move over different ways. But it, if you keep pressing it, eventually it'll just go back to where it was. So I guess you have to keep pressing it, uh, there we go, in conjunction, to the, in conjunction to the other button. And we have unleashed an armored knight. God knows how long he's been in there. He is dead after all, or undead. Okay, so I don't think you can telefrag in this game, which is going through a teleporter at the same time an enemy is like right by it, that you can do in Quake. That That's still one of the most awesome things you can do in a video game, is telefrag somebody. But I don't think you can do it here. At least you can land on somebody from above and kill them. Even if it was like a really crazy enemy, I think you could do it. Alright, so I got rid of him and I want that sack. I can't, it's not close enough to the bars that I can pick it up from here. Or else that would just completely, this puzzle would not even be needed. Oh my god. Okay, did I mention that the puzzles in this game are actually pretty damn challenging, some of them are. That's pretty cool. I, I, I can t I can deal with that. That one is just more of a trial and error, so it's not really that difficult. And that was what was inside the sack. It was a essential key. You can actually keep the sack in your inventory and store more things in it, but it's more stuff to store, but it also increases the load limit, obviously. We're just going to let it go. And yay, we have two keys, so we can get to the... That crystal? Oh, I heard something. Alright. Lovely crystal. Alright then, uh, I'm gonna end it on this part, guys. See you later.